Uh, if you and more leaders choose to take a break, uh, would you worry this will affect the people's confidence towards PDAP in the coming election? And how would you address this? As I said, I do not know how you conclude there are more DAP leaders want to take a break. Uh, I mean, so if far, the speculation two. comes through. Saudara Lim Ke Siang has uh, made his decision uh, to retire from capital politics and Ken Ming is taking a, a sabbatical a political sabbatical, if I say so, say so. Uh, and I say, as I mentioned just now, it's not the confidence of the public to the party as a whole. It's not to any particular individual. So it's not a question of if they are leaders who are not contesting. It doesn't mean that they are leaving the party. Lin Ke is not leaving the AP. Hong Ke Ming is not leaving the AP. But we have to change the perception of the public. Politics is not just about front line. Politics is not just about being an MP or being an other. Politics is a struggle. Politics is a mission of how to make the country better. So, party leaders and party members play a different role in different times. Even if they are not in front line politics, they can still play a role, which is a very important role. I mean, uh, I will rock it, rock his, uh, rock it in, uh, and his expertise to help us in the election and also in policy formulation and so forth. So, politicians can play different roles. Uh, Lin Ke Siang does not contest in the next election. Doesn't mean that you will not contribute to the party. So that is something that that uh, we must take into consideration, and uh, we must impress upon the public that this is not the case that. Uh, leaders like Kisya and Kwanteming is leaving the struggle. They are not leaving the AP. They are not quitting the AP. Today I am sitting next to him. So it's not a question of if one decides not to contest in the election, that is the end of your political struggle. That is not the case. The reasons why I feel very secure in uh, making my announcement is that I see that there are a lot of young uh, DAP leaders who can step up uh, and also uh, carry on the responsibility of leading the country in different areas. And I'm also confident in uh, Anthony Locke's uh, leadership as the new Secretary General to give opportunities uh, to many of these young DAP leaders uh, for them to have a, a bigger role to play uh, in the next general, general election as well. So this is part and parcel of the party renewal process. I was given an opportunity to contest in Sedang in 2013, uh, and uh, that seat was vacated by a younger, uh, a young person, Tio uh, who went to Pulai. So I think for people who say that why am I making the announcement now, you know, uh, when I am not really that old, I think that the party has proven itself to have a track record of uh, promoting and allowing young capable leaders to step up, gain experience and to lead the country to a better future.